Hi everyone, it's Ashley. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. It's just like normal, we have a ton to get through and you know, on a mom's schedule. So I have to see how much we can get through today um, before I have to kind of call it a wrap. But I thought I will bring you guys along and we'll see how much we can get done. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. So bringing in my first little blink here, this is a shadow box from Target. Um, I didn't get it recently. I'm not exactly sure when I got it, honestly, but I have shown these in my video before. I showed a bigger one that I use um, seasonally and I just changed the paper behind it and um, it's really pretty. And I will show you guys the box itself in just a second and I'll show you the way it opens and whatnot. But for this project, I thought that it would be cute just to make a little village type scene here and just kind of put my own spin on it. And like I said, I've had this shadow box from Target for, I mean, I want to say at least a year, honestly, probably like close to two. And I haven't used it yet. So, you know, there's no reason for me not to be using these things. Um, you know, I just kind of always am waiting for like the perfect idea or the perfect design. And I'm starting to kind of come to realize that, you know, there is no perfect project, right? Um, if I get a blank and I'm inspired to use it, I want to just allow myself to use it. And I know that for some people, you'll be like, girl, like it's really not that serious, but I know that there's also some crafters that can relate to me. So for the ladies that can relate, you know what I'm talking about. I just feel like, you know, I'll find something and I'll be like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I'll find designs, but I'll be like, no, I feel like it's not cute enough for this. Like it's not right. So I decided to go ahead and give this a use this year. And honestly, I'm super excited with what I kind of challenged myself to come up with. And it's my little spin on a Christmas village scene. So just using that box from Target. I also have some of the little wooden um, trees from the Dollar Tree. And then I just have also a few little wooden blocks. Those are also from the Dollar Tree and then some faux snow. So like I said, I'll show you guys all those in just a moment, but just really quickly going in and weeding out my little homes here. Now this was one long like row of houses and design space, and that was perfect. It was gonna be so easy to lay down. However, the color that I wanted to use, and I really wanted to use a scrap for this, um, it wasn't able to like cut it out in one long piece. So I simply just sliced them apart and then cut these little houses the opposite way so that I could get this color to work for what I needed it to work for, right? Feel free to always edit your design to kind of fit the piece of vinyl you have. At that point, it's just a matter of, you know, how much work you wanna put into lining it back up, right? So in this case, I don't think it'll be too bad. Okay, so just bring in a new piece of transfer tape here. After my last video, I did throw away my little sketchy sheet of transfer tape. So I will just use my weeding tool. I'll grab a corner there. I'll pull back just a little bit of this carrier sheet. And then that way it'll really help me when I go to lay this down. Just putting that piece of transfer tape that is exposed down, I can then grab this piece of transfer tape that I folded back and then pull it out. And that way it'll just lay down really nicely for you. Coming in with my scraper here, I will just burnish this front and then back. And then I'm just gonna set this to the side for just a moment. I wanna show you guys all the kind of parts I have here and what I was thinking. Okay, so this is the box here. I'm pretty sure that this was either $5 or $3, I can't remember, but the back just opens up like this. So my idea for this was, I'm going to apply my vinyl to this back piece here, but I also wanted to 
add these little trees they're just little wooden trees and they came in like a bare wood and i simply added some green chalk paint to those so just bringing in some little towels here just to help me kind of prop this up so you guys can see what i'm doing and then also bringing in my hot glue gun i thought that maybe i could just add just a few of these little trees and then put some faux snow down and then like i said it'll just be kind of my take on a little christmas village however i thought that with the faux snow some of the trees might get a little lost plus i wanted just a little bit of dimension so i thought some of the trees i'll put on the little cube and then some of them i will just put down in there without a cube so i'm just going to go through and kind of hot glue these down and then we'll add the snow So that's how that's kind of looking now and then let's see from the front so that is so cute actually i actually really love that and i was scared that maybe i didn't have enough snow to like cover up the blocks but i truly don't even mind the blocks i actually think they just look super cute i really like that so now i am going to go ahead and add a little bit of faux snow before i do that i kind of want to do this last just in case i make a huge mess and that's the end of the video i want to do that last so let's go ahead and put our vinyl down bringing this back in i'm just going to cut this apart let me go ahead and trim it as close as i can here And then I'm just gonna start pulling up my carrier sheet here. I want to leave that vinyl down on my transfer tape. And then I'm just gonna start right at the edge. Now I do wanna put this, because I put the trees there and because I'm gonna put the snow, I wanna focus this more at the top, right? So I don't wanna line this up towards the bottom. I really want the peak of my tallest house to really be right at the top of this box for me. So that looks great. And then I'm just going to very, very carefully burnish this down. I don't want to give it too much pressure. I don't want to accidentally break it. Okay, that looks perfect. Now, this did get a lot, a lot of debris on it. So I'm going to try to use it just for the other half of this house. But this transfer tape is really not going to be any good to me after this. So I'm going to try to use it one more time. Oh, very nice. Okay, good. So then I'm just going to simply bring these in. Kind of, I don't know if I got this a little too far over. But I'll just put a little space in between them. Because I kind of have like this trio of three in the middle. So maybe I'll just add a little space and then you know, the trees can kind of have their moment. Actually, I think that this goes in a little bit. I think it, does it? I can't remember. Uh, I'm just gonna play it safe. I'll just move them in just a little, but I think that looks great. And then, like I said, this transfer tape has a lot of debris on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this piece. And then here's our little back to our shadow box. Now, if I take this and if I hopefully measured right, oh, how cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love that so far. I love it. So I do think that I am going to add the faux snow. Now, with that being said, I don't know. I'm a little nervous, but let's do it. And because I have a three-year-old daughter, I'm gonna take just a little bit of hot glue and run some just in this seam where my box will close. And this is going to be a permanent Christmas decor in our home because I absolutely cannot risk this coming open. So this is how my little box came out and I think it is so cute. Now I will say I probably shouldn't have put the whole bag of snow because my trees are getting a little lost, 
but I think that this is so sweet. And let me tell you, that back is super on there. So I am super happy with the way this came out. What do you guys think? I think it came out super sweet. I love it. All right, guys, let's move on. Bringing in my next little blink here. This is just a sign that I got at Goodwill. I think I paid like $1.50 for it. It was just a little like wall hanger and it has like the sweet little beaded detail. Now, when I bought this, it was like a dark gray color and it had some saying on it, but I just gave it a bunch of coats of white chalk paint. And now I have this sweet little blank that I love. So I just cut out a little piece of home decor for myself. I know I said no more home decor for my home, but I don't know. I saw this and I thought, but I saw this design and I knew that I had this blank and I thought that this would just be so sweet on my dresser in my bedroom on my little tray. So I decided that I'm going to make it. So with that being said, I just went ahead and cut out all of my pieces. Now this is a layering project. So I do have the project up in design space. I will reference that once I get everything weeded. So that's important. Make sure you always keep your design saved and just kind of keep it where you can reference it. I got all of my pieces weeded. With that being said, I think for me, the easiest is gonna be to start with my two leaves here because these go in two definitive corners. So I kind of know starting there, that is a great reference point. Now I will tell you, I did cut this out a couple days ago and I have just been waiting to be able to craft. So I did write, you know, like top and bottom. So as I weeded these, I just made a note. So I just made a note of what was the top and what was the bottom. And that will help you when you go to line it up to know which way that your design goes just in case um, they get mixed up and then it can be a little challenging to figure it out. So with that being said, I know that these go in the two corners. So I'm just gonna try to line this up the best I can. That looks great. I'm gonna just simply burnish this with my fingers. Carefully bring in my weeding tool. I'm gonna use it to help me get this back up. Okay, looks great. Now, let me reference the design again. I think, I think I'm gonna go with what was the biggest piece here. I'm gonna go with my little hollies. Now, this piece of transfer tape is not quite big enough but I'm going to use that and then I will just cut out just a little strip more for the bottom there. And really at this point, because I'm not the best at like layering designs. So at this point, it's kind of like by any means necessary for this to come out. That is what I need right now. So as much transfer tape as I need, I'm gonna use. Um, anything that can help me at this point kind of get this lined up, I am going to take full advantage. So with that being said, I'm just going to really try to line up my lines here. There we go. That looks great. So now I will just burnish this front and back. And then again, just referencing my little note here, I know that this is the top and bottom. 
bring back in my blank let's look at our design i can see where my holly is and i can see where my leaves are in relation to my other leaf that i just set down so with that being said i'm gonna kind of just maneuver this and get it hopefully as lined up as i can now this is where it gets like a little sketchy sometimes because this is a very very close cut design so you know, I'm just going to try my best here. Okay, and that looks pretty good to me. Just helping any areas that don't want to stay down. Now, referencing my design again, I think I will go with this piece. This is a fairly large piece and it's right in the middle. So this should help line up other things around it. Okay, that looks great. And we only have a couple little pieces here left. So let's go in with our little hearts next. And I'm actually going to take the time now because we're getting into some smaller pieces. I'm just going to go ahead and trim my transfer tape down. Oh my gosh, this pink vinyl gave me the fight of my life. Oh my goodness. But I made it and let's get it laid down. So this is going to go something like this. There we go. That looks a little better. Okay, so I think that looks good there. Let's go ahead and get this laid down. Now, technically, we only have one layer left. Now, I'm going to tell you, I only had this, like, cranberry color in a piece of, like, weird-shaped scrap. So I had to cut this in, like, three different pieces, right? So this I have written down is the top right, and these are aligned together. So I know that this is going to be the top right and then the bottom right. So with that being said, I'm going to simply lay down these two together. And then I will trim this out. And I have used that one piece of transfer tape. I almost cut that apart. I don't want to cut that apart because like I wrote my note here, these two are aligned. So these should lay down together with perfect spacing. So just referencing my design again, I'll just bring in my little berries. And I know that a couple pieces of my design got just a little like mixed up. So that is fine. Like this leaf here, I know that I need to move over a little. No problem. If I can get it up and move it over, I will. If not, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. But I will definitely try. There we go. Just like that. Then I'm just going to simply just kind of bring it in and just kind of put the spacing more to where it looks like it should have been and there we go that is just fine with me so now let's get our next little one and I know from my note that this is the bottom left so just bringing in my transfer tape here bottom left so this should go just about here perfect and then my last one, this is upper left. So I'm just gonna bring this in like here. And then I'm gonna kind of trim this out a little. And this is gonna go just about like that. I actually think that this little dot here maybe could come down just a little. 
So I'm going to bring this about here. All right, guys, and there's our finished sign. What do you think? I think that this is so cute. And I don't know, there's just something so feminine about it. I thought that this would be so sweet on our dresser in our bedroom. So I absolutely love how this came out. All right, guys, let's move on to our next little craft. Okay, just bringing in my next design here. This is going to be for a little gift. I found my, well, one of my absolute favorite mugs from the Dollar Tree. And I haven't been able to find them in my local store since like before Thanksgiving, maybe even like before October. But last time I stopped in, they had them and I was so excited. They only had two, so I bought two. But I wanted to get this little design cut. This is going to be a gift for a sweet friend of mine. And it's just a little kind of inside joke. I do live in Florida. So, you know, I'm born and raised in Florida. So I consider Florida to be the South. Most people do not agree with me on that. And that is fine. But I know the Florida that I was born and raised in was definitely more of a Southern state. So I consider Florida the South and I have a sweet friend and we absolutely disagree on this 100%. But she loves to say y'all like it's her favorite word. She says it all the time. So I kind of just always give her a hard time about it that we are indeed part of the South because she just insists on saying y'all. So this is gonna be just a sweet little gift for her. So I did cut this design out twice because I am going to put this on both sides of my mug. Bring in a alcohol swab. I will very, very quickly just wipe this down just to get rid of any dirt or oils that may be on the cup. So I did cut this on a Cricut brand vinyl. It's just a really pretty like pearlescent color. And I have like a mint, an orange, and a blue. And they're really like pastel, so they're not harsh. And I just thought that they would go really pretty together. And I thought that they would be really pretty for this design. I'm not sure if I need to use um, strong grip transfer tape. Nope, perfect because I wasn't sure if I had any, but it is just a Cricut permanent vinyl. Now, bringing in my little mug, I know from looking at my design that I do have my little squigglies, right, that go around. So taking in account that I do wanna leave enough room for that, I'm just gonna kind of lay this down. Now, I said that this is one of my favorite, favorite mugs from Dollar Tree. And it's because this mug is so big, it's so substantial, and it's super like, the walls of it are just super long, and it is absolutely the perfect blank canvas, especially for $1.25, right? Like, it is great. You can buy these and absolutely make them anything you want them to be. And it is truly, truly like 
just the perfect blank canvas. So I absolutely love these mugs. They're so easy to apply vinyl to because, you know, just depending on the size of your design, but most of the time I don't even have to put like relief cuts because like I said, it's super big and like the walls of it are super straight. So it just makes for a great canvas, truly. So just bringing in my first little set of squiggly lines. Now I went with this set first. Oops, I have one little dot here that doesn't want to stay. That's fine, I'll apply him later. So I picked this set because I know that this little piece here is going to be right at the end of my Y. So I can kind of focus on that and then hopefully my design will kind of line up from there. Now I will tell you this super, super wants to stick to this mug. So a little parchment paper here might help. I'm going to kind of just wing it, but you absolutely could bring in some parchment paper and it would help. That looks pretty good to me. Now bringing in my last piece here. This isn't quite big enough, so I'm going to cut a new piece. And that has my little dot on it, my little blue dot. I need to put that back down, but I'm gonna kind of go in with my orange layer first. That got just about everything. I have a little extra here, just the way my paper was trimmed. So I'm gonna take that and then just put it up here just to get this little piece that wasn't quite covered. Perfect. And then let's look at our design once again. Okay guys, and this is how my little cup came out. I think it is so cute. I am absolutely in love with it. Now just make sure when you're doing a cup that you do let the person know it cannot go in the dishwasher and it cannot go in the microwave. Also, you wanna make sure you give them enough room to sip. Um, I do have my vinyl going up a little bit here, but she knows, and I think that this space here is adequate for her to drink. I will apply that same design to my other side. 